Aloha, my name is Andrea Tupola. I'm the State House Representative for District 43, and this is your six vlog. So, how did challenging the process go? What did you do to question the status quo? I was able to, first thing, gather new ideas by going to Kauai and I was able to go to the Manal racetrack as well as to Haena, see a model of how the community co-manages with the state to revitalize a low E, get fishery protections, as well as go to Kohala and hear from them about the drug problem that's happening there. Gathered ideas of what they're doing to fight it so that we can hold a drug form in Waianae as well. Secondly is removing self-imposed limitations. I was able to speak um, to a high school as well as to a PTA about how to remove those self-imposed limitations and just be awesome and do amazing things and and really help our schools to be better and whatever we're lacking find the resources fill that gap lastly no excuses we need to just get up and do things in our community we rallied round the Halemano family and we were able to gather on Farrington Highway and actually um, commemorate uh, what had happened and because we didn't make excuses, we just went out there and tried to do something for that family and for our community. It was such an amazing event, and I want to thank everybody who participated. I was able to go to Read to Me International the very same day and hear mothers who um, are starting to read out loud to their children as part of an initiative that was started by Lynn Waihe'e, the former governor's wife. A great program, not even just about building the bond between a mother and a, a child, but also about um, getting more confident in oneself by reading out loud. And so one of the books that really impressed me was called The Carrot Seed. So we're going to end the vlog by reading a book. I'm going to read out loud. The Carrot Seed by Ruth Cross. A little boy planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his brother said, it won't come up. Every day, the little boy pulled up the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. But nothing came up. And nothing came up. Everyone kept saying it wouldn't come up. But he still pulled up the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day, a carrot came up, just as the little boy knew it would. I hope this week you challenge the process and you plant that carrot seed. Aloha.